Welcome back everyone, Brandon here with SwingMods.com and today we'll be installing our front and rear foot peg to floorboard conversion kit for the Canon Spider F3. So if you bought a Spider F3 and it came with foot pegs, but you kind of wish it had floorboards, we got you covered. We partnered up with the godfather in the spider world, Len Damoth. If you follow the spider community at all, you probably know Len. He not only runs the largest spider dealership in the country, Pitbull Power Sports, but also started Spider Fest, which is the world's largest spider rally held annually in Springfield, Missouri. Len, happy to have you here with us today, and we're excited to have your products on our website. Can you tell us a little about the floorboards we're about to install today? Thanks, Brandon. Our floorboard conversion kits are amazing for the F3 and F3Ts, and we'll go on an F3 Limited, but you do have to have foot pegs for it. They're laser cut. Everything's powder coated. It's made out of really thick, heavy steel. We got billet hardware with it. The billet road pegs gives you a center step, a full adjustable floorboard, and the road peg system. That's fantastic. Now the front and rear floorboard kits are sold as two different products, but today we're going to show you how to install both these kits on one video because most of our customers are gonna order both the front and rear sets together. Not buying both together is kinda like, well, this. You get the point. So, shall we get started with the install? Let's do this. All right. Start by unscrewing and removing the rubber pad from the front footrest. And then remove this bolt from the frame support arm. Now place the supplied spacer in the front footrest cradle. And then place the right hand side front floorboard on top of the spacer so that it sits flat. Take the right hand side L bracket and align it with the hole on the frame support arm so that you know what hole to use to mount up the L bracket. Now since we're still using the factory settings for our foot pegs, we'll be using the fourth hole down on the L bracket. Put your floorboard aside for now and then take this large spacer and insert it into the hole of the frame support arm flat side first then slide the smaller spacer onto one of the large bolts and then into the hole you already figured out fits with your pegs and then into the hole of your frame support arm next take the two long bolts with washers and slide them into the front holes of the footrest then into the foot peg spacers and then tighten those down with the two nylon nuts. Now place the rear bolt and washer through the floorboard and into the L bracket and then tighten that down with the nylon nut as well. Now using a wrench so that the spacer doesn't spin Tighten down the frame support arm bolt. Next, you can unscrew these two bolts from the back side of your brake pedal so that you can lift up on the rubber pad, insert the new spacer, and then tighten it down with the two new included bolts. Then you can attach your adjustable highway pegs by placing two bolts with washers through the bottom two holes on the highway peg, then into the floorboard, and top it off with two nylon nuts, but leave the top one loose so that you can adjust the angle that best fits you before tightening it down the rest of the way. And then simply repeat that same process for the other side. Now if you also purchase the matching rear passenger floorboards, you can start by unscrewing and removing the rubber pad from the rear foot pegs and place the supplied spacer into the footrest cradles. Then all you have to do is take the two bolts and slide them through the floorboards into the foot pegs and then top them off with the washers and nylon nuts. Now to wire up the lights, simply run your wires from both foot pegs up to the left hand side access panel, making sure to stay clear of any and all moving parts as well as the exhaust. And then finally, connect them both to the positive and negative ends of the customer accessory circuit.
And that, my friends, is how you install the front and rear foot peg to floorboard conversion kit for the Can-Am Spider F3. Now, if these floorboards interest you, be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today and grab a front or rear or even both for your Spider F3. And if you're watching this video because you're thinking about getting a Spider, be sure to hit up our friends over at Pitbull Power Sports and they'll arrange the delivery of your new Can-Am Spider anywhere in the US. I want to thank Len for coming out and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.